right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use this micrometer and this dial bore gauge to figure out the condition of these cylinder walls. All right, let's get it. All right guys, so this is the micrometer here. I have the micrometer set up in this vice grip so that it's stable. We have it three inches, uh, point four, Two, five, which is 87 millimeters. Then we'll take the dial bore gauge. You want to use the needle that best correlates with the measured amount. We're going with 3.4 because our cylinder stock bore is 3.75. So then we Want to zero this inside the dial bore gauge, you put this in here and it's I've already zeroed it at home. So you want to make sure once you stabilize one side and everything left, everything left of the zero means that it's bigger than 87 millimeters and everything under zero or to the right of zero would mean it's smaller than 87 millimeters. So we want this to, we want to get this at zero this. It looks like we're just slightly off 87 millimeters. Okay, so I have my document right here. We're gonna measure cylinder one, two, three, four, the tops and the bottoms in three different positions. And we're just looking at um, the measurements, the smallest measurements. So we'll take our dial bore gauge and we'll work on cylinder number one. Go want to go about an inch in. Uh, look for the smallest position, 0 0.001, 0.20s in at one. That's not too bad. Uh, we can check our clearance from the bottom. Also point oh oh one. You see that each line is point zero 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 five. So two lines is point zero zero one. That's actually better than I thought. That is not bad. So now we're gonna measure this in an X fashion. I would also call that 0.001. We wanna go further down into the cylinder. Just do the same measurement. Also 0.001. Nice. And position number three would be this way. Oh wow. Wow, position number three. Wow. Point oh 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 five. Also 0 0.005, 0 0.0005. All right, so we just finished measuring cylinder number one. We're gonna repeat the same process for cylinder number two, three, and four. And I wanna bore you with this, so we're gonna time lapse this. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today. This is my first motor build and you know cross my fingers. I hope everything goes okay. 
if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also click the notification to stay updated on when the next video is gonna be released. All right guys, peace.